Today I want to show you a way that you can lock your French cleat holder so that when you take something off, the holder doesn't come off of the French cleat. It's Dave from Upgrade Your Home DIY. And using a French cleat wall I think is a great way to have flexible storage. But the challenge a lot of us run into is that when we are going to put a holder on the wall, we want to make sure that it doesn't come off. Now most of the time it won't come off depending on how you're taking something off. But if this is a, a shelf bracket or a holder for a hose and you lift something up, that bracket can come off very easily. So how are we going to lock it on? Now there are many different ways you might have seen. Uh, what I want to show you today is what I found is a fairly simple way to do it and it allows us to remove this if we need in the future. So let me show you how we're going to do this. So the basic idea is, is that we want to stop the holder from moving up because that's what's going to make it come off. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to put uh, a little 8 by 832 screw in through the face of our holder so that it sits underneath the bottom of the cleat because then the cleat can't move up. So the first thing we're going to do is to mark where does that screw need to be. So I'm going to mark the bottom of the uh, cleat here on my holder. Just give me a mark there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it to the front and then I'm going to be able to mark where I want to drill the hole that I'm going to put the bolt through. So I've moved uh, the holder off of the wall and I'm just going to take my square here and move this line to the front of the holder. So now I know where this line is where the bottom of that cleat on the wall is. So I need to drill the hole just below that. Let me explain why just below. It needs to be just below because we're going to use an 8-32 bolt and this is the nut that's going to go on the back side so that it holds that bolt in place. So what I want to do is I'm going to mark the hole that I want to drill. I'm going to line the nut up with the line that I've just drawn and then I'm going to mark the center so that the nut is going to sit against the bottom of the cleat. So this is where I need to drill my hole. I'll drill the hole then I can put the bolt through, attach the nut onto the back and it will secure that bolt in place so it won't move. So I'm using a uh, 3 16 inch drill bit which is the appropriate one when you have a bolt that's 8-32. Uh, so I'm going to drill through this hole in that position where I had marked it. So I'll just go to hold of my board here and drill straight through. Now these are the shelf brackets that I built in a previous video. So it's one by two finger joint pine. So it's actually really quite easy to drill through. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the wall, put the bolt through here, attach the nut on the back so that it holds it in place. So we're back at the French cleat wall. So now I can place my holder onto the cleat. And now my bolt will go through this hole and I just have my nut on the other side. I screw the bolt into the nut and it's going to extend. Now I'm using a one and a quarter inch uh, bolt here. Now that's usually going to work well because it works well for a, a half inch piece of plywood here plus three quarters would be one and a quarter. This is a little more than a half but now I can tighten this up don't need it super tight. You can see how the bolt is protruding below the cleat here so that when I try to pull it up it doesn't come off. The nut holds it but even if it comes off that holder is not going to come off because the bolt is going to hold it in place. So that's how you can lock your French cleat holders to your wall. They can't come off even if something pulls them up when you're taking it off. And the bolt, because it's got the nut on the back, it won't fall out. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I publish new videos. If the information in this video was helpful to you, 
Here are some other videos I think you'll also find helpful. Thanks for watching.